everyone, and welcome once more to another edition of Paul's Cinema Picks of the Week. I am your host, Cranford Film Enthusiast, Paul Westbrook, and today we're going to talk about how appropriate that a motorcycle went by, because that's exactly what we're probably going to talk about. Death Race. And is anybody familiar with Death Race, the film? Yep. And, um, yes. These films were made like 1974, 75 by director, the Schlock uh, director, filmmaker Roger Corman. He came up with the idea for Death Race, which, uh, I guess, appropriately has cars, only a different type of cars than the ones you see going by. The cars in these films like go really fast, and there's a special rule. It's in a f- it takes place in a future where uh, killing people is actually part of the sport. Yes, actually that's the thing about death race. It's a sport where cars are killing people, running them over, that, and you get points every time you hit the person. So, um, yeah, let's just begin. The first disc here, the first DVD, is uh, the original Death Race, which was actually made in 1974, 75. I always like to say that because it was... Uh, it gives you the option of the year. It was directed by Paul Bartel and produced by Roger Corman. And Roger Corman, like I said, he did a lot of the movies like Creature from the Haunted Sea, the original uh, Little Shop of Horrors, stuff like that. And the um, stuff like he made different types of films. Oh, yes, the uh, Sharktopia, the, uh, the uh, Sharkosaurus type movies, you know, those type of movies. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Yes, he um, made this one here in 1974, and it's the first movie that features, uh, it's David Carradine and a young Sylvester Stallone, who you might know from the Rocky films, and Stallone actually um, plays sort of a uh, villain in this movie, too, and yes, because he's sort of like the main villain, and David Carradine plays the part of... uh, a character called Frankenstein. He wears this mask and he rides these race cars and the race cars go around killing all these people and you get points. So, uh, yeah, this was the first one and I got it here in a special fe- special edition so you got all sorts of uh, special features that go with it too. Like a uh, playing the game documentary which looks back at the making of the film and get interviews with uh, different people that played in these uh, in these movies, and it was just one of the better known types of films that were made about race cars at that time, and it has a mix, it's like a mix of science, science fiction, and you mix the sci-fi with the race car, uh, race car type movies, so if you like fast cars, and you don't mind seeing people getting massacred on film, movie. Yes, so like I said, you hear all these cars going by, so maybe that maybe they're off to a death race somewhere themselves. But anyway, yeah, that's the first the first uh, film there. The second film here was a sequel that was made much, much years later, in 2017 as a matter of fact. It took them that long to actually make a film sequel to the original Death Race. So here you got Roger Corman's Death Race 2015. You got you getting these uh these yep. pieces? And in this one it's the year 2050 and the world's controlled by a uh, chairman. That's the name of the chairman, the leader of the corporate government. And uh, he's played by Malcolm McDowell. And the masses have been brainwashed with violent virtual reality entertainment, which is including the death race. And it's like again, it's these uh, violent drivers going around and a cross-country road scoring points for running people over. Yeah, and um, again, the reigning champion and the, uh, the one that everybody loves is Frankenstein. And not the, not the monster, cause not the scientist, certainly not the monster, no. Frankenstein is the uh, half and half machine main racer who is the champion. And, of course... Uh, there's a uh, per- a rival that wants to try and uh, usurp his legacy and take over himself. 
But again, you got um, more of the racing mayhem and some of the most outlandish uh, people that are racing in this. In this one, but it's a direct to DVD release. I don't think it was really released on uh, in theaters. Like it was more released on a DVD, but again, you have. Uh, there's not really a lot to say. It's like if you like racing, you like beautiful women, you like uh, motorcycles, you like all this stuff, you'll certainly enjoy it just as you would of the original movie. So it's uh, it's a fitting sequel to uh, to the original. Now this here is the four movie collection. So you have at the back here we got all four. A little small, so I'm not sure we're getting that. Uh, yeah, all four Death Race uh, remake films. Like the first one starring Jason Statham, of course, and uh, he's wrongly convicted of a crime and he's sent to this uh, this prison, this high security prison. And in this one, yes, it's a high security prison. Warden is the one that conducts the death racing. So That's the one I and know. And then they race for their freedom. Oh, you see that one? That's the one I know of, yeah. yeah. That's what happens. Like, he has to uh, race for his freedom. A more of a survival or die thing. And you got Jason stays a minute. And you got Danny Trail, who you might know from the, the Machete film. And a lot of action films today, Danny Trio plays in a lot of them, but he plays the one of the mechanics that's on uh, the crew there, and they have to um, get the they, they race the cars, and they get the cars all fixed up and set for the, um, for the race. And part two, I guess in part two here, yeah, that's the one where you have uh, Danny Trio's character introduced. And I don't think he was in the first movie, but he's in the second movie, which is Death Race 2, and um, he's part of the crew that puts the car together, and they have to go through all the different Death Races. Again, it's like the premise of the first film, to uh, to set these prisoners free. If you want your freedom, you have to race for it. So you have to go through all these uh, Death Races to do that. And, of course, um, like Statham's character, uh, Luke Goss plays the part, the guy that puts on the Frankenstein mask, and it, he has to uh, portray the character of Frankenstein, no matter what. The person gets killed, I guess they assume the role of Frankenstein, which is uh, represented by the uh, by the mask. And Death Race 3, which is called Inferno, they go into a, um, it's like more of a desert type race. But it's more of the same thing. Like each time they up the ante of the film, they up the ante of the um, of the death race. You know, like more uh, points, or you have to go through another course, or basically risk your life to uh, to earn your freedom. And then the fourth one, which is called Death Race Beyond Anarchy, you uh, have the big desert death race, the final desert death race, and. Um, that was the last one to date, but um, like I said, that most of these movies are more or less the uh, the hardened criminals getting together and trying to race for their freedom. And let's just say, without giving any spoilers away, it does do a satisfying conclusion. But yeah, you said you heard of these films, though. The first one. The first one. You didn't really hear the sequel? I don't think I have. I don't remember. All right, but they're more of the same thing anyway. They're just more yeah. of uh, Again, the uh, race in the car, high stakes. More beautiful women. Yeah, cause, and then a lot of gory death scenes, of course, because it says brutal violence, gory scenes, and coarse language. But when you're watching it, really, it's, it's not exactly uh, child friendly. Maybe when your child's maybe about 18 and up, you can start watching them or whatnot. Some kids, I guess, watch them earlier. Who knows? But uh, I've always been a fan of the death race films and. Um, while not on par with the Corman, Corman movies, because the Corman movies had more of a campy approach, these ones had more of a serious uh, serious approach to them. They were still very done very well, too. So, uh, yeah, it's um, certainly one of the better films, and if you like action and stuff, I strongly recommend them. But, again, this is... Uh, so, that's the Death Race movies in... Uh, 
small detail. So um, if you, um, this is Paul Wessert reminding you to like and subscribe to the video. Uh, please send a comment in the uh, bottom part. And I always like to check and see how many people have viewed our uh, show so far. And um, yeah, like and subscribe. Send a comment or two. Let my sister know how her camera work is. Yeah, I like to obviously see her get some credit too because uh, I may talk about a lot of these films, but I like to hear what people say about her film, her film, uh, filmmaking. Because she does all the great films. So remember to thank my sister for uh, the camera work that she does. And for now, this is Paul Westbrook, Bradford's film enthusiast, saying so long for now, and uh, I'll be seeing you at the movies. So until then, take care.